My name's Aaron Croman, and I'm going to show you how to make a shiny metal sphere in Photoshop. Okay, so I start a new layer, and I'm going to use the uh, elliptical marquee. I'm going to make me a nice circle, and I'm going to hold down the shift tool, so uh, or shift key, uh, so I can make a nice perfect uh, circle. And I'm going to fill it uh, full of a kind of a, yeah, make it a kind of a dark gray. Hit OK. Going to hit Shift F5. And gonna, yeah, I'm going to use the foreground color so this will fill it. And there we go. So, but it doesn't look too metallic. Well, we'll get to that. So I'm, now I'm going to use the Dodge tool. Uh, it's going to set it on highlight. Currently has exposure 50%. That's cool. And I'm going to use uh, one of these soft uh, round air, uh, airbrushes. Make it big enough so I can work quickly. There we go. That should work. Need the brush to fit with the the ball. <laughs> and I'm just kind of kind of just kind of go all around because it's getting a little bit of light all around it and especially at a central point mmm getting nice and shiny materials uh, that are shiny like metal uh, have a very high contrast compared to things like wood and stone and paper uh, so when it gets hit by the light, it has kind of a bigger kind of hot spot where it's highlighted than the graduation that uh, stone would have. And go around, just kind of pick up that, make it bright. Look, honestly, it looks pretty good so far. We could probably just pretty much leave it right here, but I'll make it just a little bit shinier, a little bit brighter. Remember to get nice bright on the other side because then it's being, the light is being reflected at it from the table or wherever it is. It has all the kind of mid-tones and reflections. Maybe get it for getting light sources from multiple areas. Just looking pretty good. And no shiny metal ball will be complete without a shadow. So I'm going to go to the marquee tool. Going to make a nice little shadow. And kind of move it a little. Because it looks like the light's coming up from right here. Move it a little. Okay. And then I'm going to make a new layer. Going to put it under this one. Because we want the metal ball to be on top of it. And I'm going to go to Select, uh, Modify, Feather, and uh, 10 pixels is fine. So what it does is it just kind of makes the edge nice and soft to the selection area. I'm going to make the shadow a little bit darker. And then I'm going to fill it. Oops, filled it twice. Still good, but yeah, fill it one more time, sure. And then hit Command D or Control D on the on Windows. And I'm not sure if I like that placement, so I'll move it around a little. And there we go. And and if you want to add a little extra touch, take the Burn tool. Ooh, very big. Make sure you're on the layer with the ball and add a little bit of burn to the bottom so the shadow's reflecting up into it. That way you can kind of replace what you may have lost with the dodge tool. And there you go. Nice, shiny metal sphere. Spheres like cubes and cylinders are one of the basic things that they teach you in art. It's really good to work with some of the basics so you can do the hard stuff later.
My name's Aaron Croman. Google me, and good luck with your art.